top-down shot of the green bird's nest up close macro lens that shows you how much the water line drops when the return pump is off so we'll start off with a walkthrough of a close look at the tank after doing sump clean uh, you can see the toll stool is still closed up uh, most of the LPS usually react to a drop in phosphates in the water along with nitrates. Um, the torch corals closed up. Again, this is right after everything is coming back online. Uh, unfortunately, I did experience a drop in temperature. Uh, completely my fault. Uh, for some reason, I put the heaters in display but I forgot to turn them on or plug them in so things happen right keep moving so you can see the yellow frog spawn is closed up in the back uh, but overall everything went well um, once a year it's not something I do that often uh, close-up shot I actually ended up fragging this SPS, um, those zoas look nice, but they have um, they grow really fast, as you can see in this shot. So I did some trimming of that whole area. Believe it or not, there's a trumpet coral in the center of that. Um, it's still doing okay, um, but it's not thriving. So. I'll be focusing on that in the upcoming videos a little bit. The water, you can see a little bit of a haze um, in the water again. Um, 15 gallons, slightly over 15 gallons. Complete swap. Uh, the Singulera is closed up. And. I wasn't rushed, I actually took my time doing it, and it's just a matter of putting things online. Um, took a little bit longer than expected, but I've had better sump cleanings, so let's just put it that way. But doing pretty good day after. Um, I did some testing, and while I was waiting for everything to get back up to the, uh, I guess the new normal going forward in the tank, it is um, a one teaspoon of sodium carbonate, and then I dosed, um, I have some concentrated nitrate, I guess sodium nitrate, so I dosed a full dropper of that. Um, and in my normal feeding, we'll get the phosphates back up. So here is my usual test of the phosphates on the left, nitrates on the right. And we can see they're extremely low. I'll do a HANA test probably tomorrow. Current pH of the calcium reactor, therefore the tank, because the CO2 gas was turned off. You can see the spike there. And then temperature of the tank, how it dropped um, during the time of the sump water change. And final close-up of the PO4 NO3 results from the Red Sea Pro Test kits. So appreciate everyone watching. Uh, welcome the few new subscribers in a couple days. Here's a wide shot. Thanks for watching. Till next time.